I'm just going to go off the cuff here. I've just got like a brief idea in my head of what I'm going to talk about, but I don't know what direction I'm going to go in. So, but I'll start with this story. Um, I was just going through some old photos of like people from Hamilton Island where I used to live. And this was back in, I was 19 when I first got there, I think. Um, and like I went back there a couple of times. The first time was, um, I think I was 19. And back then uh, people commuted, everyone commuted because there was no staff accommodation over there. And then the second time was about after 21, I was about, because I had a house at 21 that I sold and then I moved back about, I was about 23. So, but this time I moved on the island and there was a lot of crazy people, like what seemed like crazy, they had crazy personalities and we're all so young, like looking at the photos, it was just young and we're just, like we all, everyone has fond memories of, living on Hamilton Island, it was just crazy and I, I was a different person like when I look back at those photos I feel like this anxious feeling like because I was so young and it just it, from the surface like it looked like a better time but it actually wasn't, I wasn't very like I, I had a lot of fun on the island but that's what it was, it was fun and I wasn't going anywhere like it was just living day by day just for fun going out drinking and meeting new people all the time and just something, there was always crazy stuff happening all the time and people laughing and it was just such a crazy, like, fun time. It was just all about drinking and partying and laughing and but not really going anywhere with my life. Like, and I wasn't a very confident person and, um, like, on the surface I, I looked super social and, like, I was having a good time. I, inside, I wasn't a very confident person. Like I felt low because I was I was a cleaner, and realistically, I got paid for scrubbing toilets. You know, and every day I'd have to do that, and I just felt like scum, really. And I knew I was capable of more, and that's what it was. And I, I didn't feel like a complete person worthy of being confident because I was just a cleaner, you know, and. Um, so people back then, people that were somewhat rich or creating their own businesses or have, have had some sort of higher level job than me, I'd feel intimidated by them inside um, and I'd be a bit shy because I just felt like they were better than me and I felt like a lot of people were better than me. Um, yeah, so I felt... I felt more comfortable being with my own circle who were also housekeepers, cleaners, and I felt comfortable in that circle. Um, so, yeah, that's that's how I felt. And I would walk each day. I'd get up each morning, get up early, walk down that hill, beautiful view, um, magical view, but just dreading going to work each morning and... I, I had I had to pump myself up to go to work. I had these headphones on back when we had like Discman's or Walkman's. I think I had a Discman um, or a cassette player Walkman. I can't remember now. Um, and I would listen to Coldplay. Um, I think it was a Discman. So and I would pump myself up by listening to yeah Coldplay. Um, we live in a beautiful world, that song, every day, every day. And I would listen to that to pump myself up and I'd think, yeah, I feel good. I feel this is a beautiful, a beautiful world, sorry. We live in a beautiful world. And that would be in my, I'd listen to that every morning as I was walking um, down the hill to go to the, the hotel to go and clean for all day. And... The only, the fun thing about this job was the people I was working with, like we would play pranks on each other at work and just laugh during lunch breaks and 
Like I would live for lunch breaks going downstairs and we would watch Jerry Springer during lunch break and that was exciting and just having a laugh around the people that I worked with. That was the best part of the day. And then you'd go back upstairs and then just rush through trying to clean these rooms and I just like realistically I hated it. But I loved the people I worked with. I loved living and working on Hamilton Island, um, the lifestyle and the people. But the job itself, of course, it's like cleaning every day and just so like really I knew I was capable of more. I'm a smart person and I'm creative and I just I started writing. I remember when I had I had Starla and that gave my life meaning when I met her father and then I had Starla and that I had something worthy um, about my life that gave my life meaning, you know, and then I, I started writing as well because I wanted to use my creative talents and make something of myself. So I started writing children's a children's book and I would do that every day and I'd write. I've always been driven, driven for more, driven for more to create something of myself and to have more in life. I needed that. Um, so I've always been like entrepreneurial driven and creatively driven to um, put myself into something. So I guess where this is uh, where this is directing to is um, are you doing the same? Like I look back at those pictures and I think, you know, I want some of those qualities of the me I used to be, but the life. Like, and I can have those qualities, but the the life I had, sure, I can look back and think they were fun times and it'd be good to be young again, but no, because it wasn't like it was just, that's just the, that's a facade, like, because it wasn't the best. Now is the best times of our life. We, we need to make it that way. We we can't go back in time and nor should we want to because we've learnt those lessons. We can move on. We can live in the now and we can make the now what we want it to be and create an even better future. So that's where I'm trying to go to. I'm creating the best now I can possibly live now and create a better future. And it's not the best it can be now but I can make it better. So I'm going to do all I can to make it better because life is short. That's the reality of it. We don't have time to waste. We've got to make our life how we want it right now because you, because then you'll be looking back years later thinking, I wish I had made my life better and, and this way I could have done this and this and this. I don't want to be feel like that. I just I need to make things don't have time to waste. None of us do. So all the things I want to happen, I want to make them happen now. I've had all my youth for, for fun and all those times on Hamilton Island, etc. Those days are gone. Now is the time to be driven and to make it and, and to know exactly what to do in order to make my life exactly how I want it right now, right here. And you have that option too. So now I'm promoting Tony Robbins, Dean Grossiosi and Russell Brunson's event. It is on the 30th of April, okay? Um, I've tried to do some Facebook ads but they haven't been accepted yet because I've been editing them. They were accepted then I edited them and now, now it's just taking a long, long time for them to be accepted. Nor do I want to spend a lot of money on Facebook ads but, you know, I'm here, I have Facebook Live, I have the resources that I have. I could make do what Tony Robbins, what I'm trying to say is what Tony Robbins says is um, you may not have the resources of other people like with a big email list, with money to spend on Facebook ads, etc., with a podcast with millions of listeners on it. I don't have that. I don't, I don't have people engaging with my posts even. I don't have that. But what I do have are 
I have resources, I can be resourceful. That's what I want to say. I don't have those resources of other people, but I can be resourceful with what I've got. I heard that from Tony Robbins and that makes complete sense to me. And what I do have is I have heart. I believe in this um, this free training that's on the 30th. I believe in the the message, what they're trying to do, Tony, Dean and Russell. And um, it's something that I've believed in for a long time, even before I heard they were creating this launch. It's something that I've been sort of promoting with what I'm doing. Um, and they're just taking it on a new level. So what I'm doing complements them. So um, I applied to be a promoter, an affiliate of theirs, and I was accepted. So now I'm promoting what they're doing, their online training. It's free on the 30th of April. Um, and I'll be doing you a disservice if I don't tell you about it. So that's why all my posts are about it, etc. Yes, I'm an affiliate. I get paid a commission for each person that um, purchases something on their online training, disclaimer. But um, I, w I believe in this mission anyway, even if I wasn't promoting it. And I would be doing you a disservice by not telling you about it. Does that make sense? So everyone needs to be on this because this is about using the knowledge that you already have inside of you, using the resources that you already have and making something of yourself with it. You can teach what you know from your life story, teach it to other people, whether that be makeup artist, you're a makeup artist, you can create um, a course or a mastermind or a workshop and make a living doing that, teaching other people what you know. In any industry, you can do this. If you're already a teacher or an educator, then you're miles ahead, but you don't need to be a qualified teacher or educator or have that experience. You can learn that along the way. Okay, and that's what Tony and Dean and Russell's um, product that they're going to be launching at on this online training is all about. Not only are you going to get free online training, but they're going to introduce you to something that they've created that's going to help you extract the knowledge that you have. Because you might think, where do I start? Well, they're going to show you how to extract that knowledge out and, and get it out into reality and be able to teach that to other people. They're going to show you exactly what to do step by step. Because Tony's got 20 years experience, no, 40 years experience, I heard. And Dean's got 20 years experience. So those figures might be wrong. I think it's that. It's a lot anyway. Um, and Russell, he's the owner of ClickFunnels. So he knows all about storytelling and creating sales funnels. And he's using that to imagine like the, the superpowers of those three people together, what they can create. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, I encourage you to, I'm going to put the link under this video for you to get in because urgency is, is of the, the presence. It is urgent because it is the 30th, um, which is like Tuesday, Tuesday in Australia that they you need to be on this online training because everyone's going to be on it. Everyone's going to be wanting to get in and there's only so much room for people on the live chat. Does that make sense? So if you want to chat directly to Tony, Dean and Russell on this live training webinar, then you need to get in and book, your, get yourself signed up just by clicking on the link. It's not hard. Go to the link, put your name in, get, put your email in and you get free videos up until that date. So you're going to be learning stuff before you even attend this webinar. Does that make sense? So if you're like me and you want to make a change in your life and use what you have, use your knowledge, your smarts, your, create, your creativity, um, what you've learned, the lessons that you've learned in life, if you have something that you know, which we all do, that you can teach to other people, then this is for you, which is everyone. Or you can stay stuck doing the job that you hate and do that till whenever and always tell yourself, I'll make a change someday, I'll do it later because that's never going to happen unless you decide to make it happen and take action. Okay, that's all it takes, a, a, small, um, a small action from you to start the ball rolling and create a ripple effect. 
of changing your life and your life could look totally different like in a year's time. You never know what, what you're capable of until you actually try and do it. So um, that's my message for t today. Um, thank you for listening to me. Uh, I'm Miranda Wright and I'll see you in the live training. I really hope that you do join me because it's going to be amazing. It really is. So click on the link down below. Make sure you do it. Do it for yourself and do it for your kids so you can spend more time with them. I want to see more mums spend time with their kids and dads with their kids and, and living the life that they truly want, making money, doing something from what they truly want to do. It doesn't involve being stuck in a nine-to-five job because you don't have freedom doing that, okay? You don't have the freedom to spend time with your kids and make money at the same time, do you? Does that make sense? So bye for now. That's it from me. Um, I don't know what else I can say. Time is a ticking and click that link while you still can and get yourself signed up. Bye. I'll see you in the training. Mwah.